Cryostat, a chamber that can maintain very low temperatures. Medical laboratories use a cryostat to preserve frozen tissue samples while a microtome, an extremely sharp cutting instrument mounted inside cryostats, slices the tissue into pieces thin enough to be observed under a microscope. The slice piece must be so thin as to look nearly transparent. The pathologist, a laboratory doctor trained to identify evidence of disease in microscopic structures, then examines the slice to confirm or rule out the presence of a disease, such as cancer. Use of frozen tissue samples enables physicians to examine tissue and diagnose its condition more quickly than if the tissue had been preserved without freezing. Microtomes may be used alone, without cryostats, to yield thin microscopic samples. Cryostat is derived from the Greek cryos cold and status standing, stationary, like a cryostat chamber. Cryos gives us many English words such as cryonics use of coldness in medicine to bring about beneficial results and cryosurgery use of below, freezing temperatures to destroy disease. Status and related Greek words give us such English words as static and stationary. Cryostat, a chamber that can maintain very low temperatures. Medical laboratories use a cryostat to preserve frozen tissue samples while a microtome, an extremely sharp cutting instrument mounted inside cryostats, slices the tissue into pieces thin enough to be observed under a microscope. The slice piece must be so thin as to look nearly transparent. The pathologist, a laboratory doctor trained to identify evidence of disease in microscopic structures, then examines the slice to confirm or rule out the presence of a disease, such as cancer. Use of frozen tissue samples enables physicians to examine tissue and diagnose its condition more quickly than if the tissue had been preserved without freezing. Microtomes may be used alone, without cryostats, to yield thin microscopic samples. Cryostat is derived 